There's still so much we don't know about this uh, agreement between uh, TikTok and Oracle. Uh, we do know that for over a week now, these two companies had reached a tentative agreement, but uh, still there are many questions about how exactly we got here. I mean, especially within the tech industry, uh, many people are still surprised that uh, Microsoft, uh, which was considered the strongest bidder all along, uh, got rejected from this deal and instead uh, a smaller and less experienced company like Oracle landed on this uh, massive deal. From the way Donald Trump is talking about this deal, uh, it's really all about politics. He's emphasizing the fact that uh, this will create new opportunities, it will protect U.S. interests. He's almost uh, as if he's trying to uh, appeal to his voter base and sort of portray this uh, agreement as, as his latest achievement. Uh, speaking to the press on Saturday, this is what he had to say. TikTok uh, is moving along. We're dealing with Oracle and we're dealing with, as a combination, Walmart. It'll most likely be incorporated in Texas. It'll be a brand new company. Uh, it will have nothing to do with uh, any outside land, any outside country. Uh, it will have nothing to do with China. This deal is fi far from being uh, finalized because we are still waiting for the final word from the uh, Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. That is the government agency that will be uh, reaching a decision on whether or not it addresses uh, the national security concerns here in the U.S. And one thing we also shouldn't forget is uh, the fact that uh, the Chinese government does also play a role, especially after having changed their export rules recently. Uh, they are concerned about how much of this uh, secret algorithm uh, that is really the secret sauce of this application, uh, the company, the Chinese company, may be sharing with, uh, with the U.S. Uh, partners here. Um, that is a major concern for China, obviously. Uh, and that's why um, in the weeks and months ahead, we are still waiting to hear from that final reaction uh, from both governments. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.